take take um take a step toward me this way. That's not bad. Um, and look at me real quick. Your eyeline is right at me, and uh, very good. One second. Why uh why the heck are you doing this anyway? It seems like such a it's got to be a huge kind of burden in ways to run for office, right? I mean, people are coming after you. Like, what? How do you decide to sign up for that? Oh boy. Yeah, it's the question I probably get the most often, and I have several different reasons, I suppose. A lot of people talk about their kids and grandkids and saving our country, which I totally agree with, but uh -huh. um, but to be honest, you know, if, if, I, if somebody had to nail me down, is that good? Yeah, that's good. that's good. I mean, if somebody had to nail me down, I would say it's the... I think there's roughly 1.2 million people who have died in military service, you know, and they they uh, gave their lives for freedom and liberty. And the the chief thing is a lot of them were really young. You know, a lot of these people were like 18, 19, 20 years old, men and women who literally gave their lives. And I look at my life here. I am. I'll be 55 years old next month. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah. And um and I feel like I've lived my dreams, I've done everything I wanted to do, and uh, I can't sit still while the, the blood of patriots who paid the price from the beginning of this country until now goes without, you know, without, uh, without support. You know, I served in the military to defend our Constitution, and these young men and women, especially young ones, they are 18, 19, 20 years old, you know, they don't have a voice anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, I, I, I mean, that's the biggest reason for me is I feel like there's there's so many people have given their lives so that the thing is, people don't realize that America is not natural on Earth. America, what we have here, this freedom and liberty mm -hmm. is sort of like if you ever saw the movie Truman Show, how it's like this big dome and it's kind of a protected environment. Right. That's like what God has done in America. And it's not natural. If 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 we don't maintenance it, it's going to go away. Like we have to service this and I feel like not only do I want it for our kids and our grandkids in the future, but I think it's such a disservice and such a dishonor to the people who served in the military who have given their lives and even people who weren't in the military that, that gave their lives, you know, to, to ensure, to make sure that we, we could live as we do. Um, I can't sit still for that. We, we have to fight and we have to defend this country.